Hi everyone, welcome to Molly's Tarot. This is going to be an, a current energy love tarot reading for all signs. All right, all signs tarot, current energy love. We are going to start with air signs today. So we're going to do Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and then continue from there. But we will cover everybody's sun sign. You're welcome to watch this for moon, rising, Venus, any placement. All right, let's just jump right in and get started with Gemini first. Okay, Gemini. Ooh, freeing yourself possibly from uh, a or heading towards a long-term commitment. Either uh, it could be both. Actually, I'm kind of getting both. You're freeing yourself from a long-term commitment and becoming single, but some of you are actually headed towards a like both, a, heading towards another long-term commitment. Okay, let's see though. What do we have for Gemini, please? Gemini. Wow. Okay. So strength card coming out right away. All right. So some of you um, being very strong right now or possibly dealing with a Leo. Let's see. Let's see what else we get here. So give me overall energy, please, for Gemini's at this time. Okay. You have the hanged man. So the hanged man feels like you're stuck. If it does, if it feels like you're stuck, Gemini, then the hanged man encourage you the hanged man encourages you to really take your time to look at all the different perspectives. Now, if you've just been doing that, like all you've been doing is taking your time and looking at the different perspectives, then it may be a sign to start moving forward. You have the page of pentacles. There's going to be some kind of communication coming in. So I do see that. All right. Um, so who is Gemini dealing with here? I'm, you're, I was going to do a spread for you, but yours is coming out kind of free form. So we'll just we'll just roll with it, Gemini. Uh, who? Tell me what? Uh, who is Gemini dealing with here in current energy love? Okay, so you have a King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. You kind of had two separate piles. So some of you may have two different situations. Okay, so... Yeah, I feel you're on the defense. Again, Leo coming out, you know, Six of Wands is a Leo card. We had Strength falling out. We do have this King of Wands here. So some of you are possibly dealing with a Leo. It doesn't have to be. All right, but you do have a lot of cards of that nature. Um, Impossible Libra and Pisces are showing as well. So regardless of the signs... Some of you may have two different situations. One that one that you are pushing away. The Six of Wands can sometimes be a little cocky or, or egotistical, you know, something like that. You know, they could be on their high horse kind of thing. That's not what it typically means, the Six of Wands, you know, if you're trying to take tarot notes here. So don't go by that. But what I'm seeing here, the way that you're being defensive, you know, this person's kind of coming in. Uh, it can be a card of being cocky. So I feel like you are pushing that away. You definitely have someone here that's either interested in you or like waiting for you. They're waiting for you to pop, to push someone away. And that makes sense. All right. Because three of wands is a lot of uh, waiting at, at times, I see. And justice is here. So it's like they want things to be more balanced. So, so you do have a very motivated king here with the king of wands. Yeah, some of you are, though, you're walking away. Yeah, see, I, I, I don't know. I feel like you guys are walking away from a fire sign and headed towards like a new situation, possibly a Cancer with the Chariot, all right? They could be a Cancer or a Pisces. Yeah, they're, uh, yeah, or an air sign. Wow, you've got, you've got a few, wow, you've got a lot going on here. All right, because you do have the Ace of Swords and King of Swords. So again, some of you leaving a fire sign, because the Eight of Cups walking away from this King of Wands, but you're you're ready for victory. You're moving towards with the with the chariot card. Some sort of truth, clarity here with this king of swords. <clears throat> this can also indicate separation. Um, especially with the king of pentacles, there could be like a husband energy here. Yeah, something that you've waited for for a long time. And then you have a new opportunity that intuitively, there's your card, you feel is coming. The Knight of Pentacles. So, yeah, I do. I think you guys have a situation here where you, you're being on guard with someone. And then it's like someone else is like waiting for you to either stand up for yourself or push someone else away. 
and I feel like they want to swoop in most likely. It's a little slow mo moving in that department, but I do see that moving forward. That's what I'm seeing. Uh, I, there is a situation here. It's going to be different for, you know, the, the different scenarios here, but there is a situation of getting tired of waiting and, and feeling like you're on the defense all the, all of the time. But there's going to be a solid opportunity here for you with the Ace of Pentacles. So, yeah. So this looks really, really good. Hold on here. Yeah, some of you are going to have a major ending in, in some situation and then a new start in another situation. That's what I am seeing for you, Gemini. All right. So let's move to Libra. Okay, Libra. Okay, what is the message for Libras, please? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, any placement? Some kind of good news coming in. Makes you happy. Could be something about travel. Wow, yeah. Nine of cups, ace of cups, new love possibly coming in. Wow, all right. Let's see what's up for Libra. Okay. Some of you waiting on a Leo. I just saw the uh, Seven of Pentacles and the Sun card. Okay, so what is the storyline for Libra? What's going on? What is the overall energy for Libras? Thank you. Six of Cups. Okay, so Six of Cups, typically a, yeah, there's Leo again. Um, a fond connection, a nostalgic connection of some sort showing up here as the overall energy. Six of Cups is usually pretty innocent. Um, unless uh, I see the devil card, which that count combination can indicate like an on and off, ongoing karmic, past life, uh, you know, scenario that's complicated. All right, but let's see. Let's see what comes up for you. All right, so what can Libras expect? Current energy, romantic love, please. Thank you. So you have four of cups and three of swords. So recent past, there was a lot of like waiting for someone to clarify things or to kind of like just grow up in a, in, in a situation. Now, that doesn't mean that they are immature, all right? But it's like, I mean, we have this grown adult and she's looking at, you know, the, this boy, you know, it's not like a man, right? So that tells me it's more metaphor, like you're waiting for like a situation to mature. So the recent past, there's been a lot of like waiting, waiting for someone to show more interest, uh, possibly waiting for someone to leave someone else if there's third parties, it, it, you know, in, in this situation. But there's just been a lot of waiting energy for something to be clear here. Let's see, current energy. So we have the Empress. All right, so you're realizing your value, your worth. That's good. And the star, beautiful. Um, all right, so this is good. So I tell, this tells me, and if this isn't happening yet, this is going to be happening very soon. This type of energy of wondering and waiting and being disappointed and things like that, that is disappearing because you are healing. You are putting yourself and your self-care first, which is a beautiful thing here. Okay, let's see what's coming in. Oh, the tower. Uh-oh. <laughs> all right, let's see. All right, tower card. Some towers are good. Let's let's see what's up. The Eight of Swords. Hmm. Okay, so we'll clarify the tower. Because whatever it is, it's a situation that kind of springs on suddenly and kind of puts you in your head again, all right, over something. So it, all this, like, confidence and this is, is now being eroded a little bit. So we'll check into that. We'll see what that's about. Oh, it's the Devil card. What did I say? If that Devil card comes out with the Six of Cups, it's usually not a healthy situation. All right. So it, now, now it doesn't mean forever, okay? We're going to take a look at the Hermit underneath the deck to see what they're pointing at. Yeah, okay, I see what's going on here. All right, so unfortunately, like I said, Six of Cups, usually a sweet nostalgia, you know, nice, nice energy kind of card. But when it comes out with the Devil card, which it has, it's called the Shadow Side in this deck, but it is number 15. It's the Devil card in traditional tarot. Um, there's there's an unhealthy karmic situation here that needs to be balanced. So, and I see that, you know, the Eight of Swords, I'm not surprised to see the Devil coming out right after that, because the Eight of Swords is when we let go of this energy. 
and then we get worried about things again or we let explosive things bother us and then we get back into that devil energy so now this could be i'm not saying that that's you per se you know it's like it's it's the energy so it could be your person it could be a combination usually when i see these two com combination cards it's kind of both of you you know it's just unfortunately it's just not the healthiest situation and it's difficult the reason why it's so difficult is because you genuinely like each other you know the six of cups is very much a card of you know, liking someone, feeling very comfortable with them, because most likely you've had a past life connection before. And that could have been as anything, you know, I mean, you guys might have been like brother and sister in a past life or something like that, right? So it's like, there's this comfortability in this lifetime, but it's not necessarily always of uh, uh, supposed to have been romantic. And typically we make it romantic. And then there's a lot of just troubles and things that ensue that cause us to stay stuck here. So, um, so I feel there's a danger here of if you're currently in this healing energy, really looking after yourself, your self care, healing, all of those types of things, that there's something that could happen here, which we're gonna clarify now, uh, that could put you in this energy of losing that work that you've done and then put you back into this energy again. So real quick before I clarify this though, I do want to point this out because the Hermit is at the bottom of the deck, Virgo energy here. You have Virgo, Aquarius, and Taurus showing up in your reading and Capricorn. Um, but the Hermit, I like to see what the Hermit shines the light on because that's usually a clue, you know, as to what to pay attention to. So you have the Three of Cups and then the Karma card. So I feel like this is saying two two things either pay attention to because the hermit is about your wisdom and it's it's wanting you to see something you know the hermit is your inner hermit is coming out and shining the light on these cards so it's like the three of cups can be a couple different things either a this is a third party situation that just keeps keeping you trapped or b the hermit is shining the light saying hey you know it's time to get out there and have some fun socialize don't worry about this past connection or this on off connection as much it's like something needs to um, close here because the karma card in this deck is the judgment card and the judgment card is about using our discernment towards right action like and that will help build our positive karma so that may mean that you know go out and have some fun you know if there's somebody that you're stuck on or hung up on or something like that it's like mm, you know don't don't get too wrapped up in that you know, and maybe go out and have some fun with friends or start dating a little bit or socializing a little bit more, things like that. Um, okay, let's clarify that tower for you. Okay, what is the tower, please, for Libra that kind of takes them out of this positive, positive energy here? What is this tower? So it's like being trapped in your own like thought prison here, you know, like creating all kinds of scenarios in your head and then making even more worries for yourself is what I see. And that's that's never, never a good plan, right? All right, so let's see, what is this tower card please that puts, uh, gives this energy? What is this tower card please for Libras? Okay. Yeah, 10 of swords and the emperor. Oh, wow, all right, well. So some of you, yeah, this could be breakup energy, guys. Um, but I, you know, the thing is, I feel like it's not like a big surprise for you. And there's this, the two children again in the background and you got two children here. So it's like, I feel for many of you there, there could be, Yeah, see, there's a need to walk away from a situation here. The moon, the nine of wands, the eight of cups, a lot of things keeping you trapped and stuck in your head. So it's like, here's the thing. You may hear from this person again. So like if there's been a breakup or an ending in the past, uh, you may possibly hear from this person again. But it's like, it doesn't look like it's going to be a healthy situation. And it's just going to keep you waiting and prolonging the inevitable. All right, is what I see. Others of you, it's there could just be mean this is something that comes to light with the tower about an ending here, possibly with an Aries. And 
there's just this, yeah, this energy here of like, it, it's not balanced. I mean, we have an emperor and a page. Those two are not gonna work well together. Yeah, you know, now the emperor needs the empress, right? You know, and but we, we have that here, but there's a ten of swords in between you guys. So I feel like there's there's an ending, a pretty major ending here with the world. And Page of Cups, there may be some apologies in the mix or some reaching out or something like that, but I just, I don't feel it's going to be the, the answer you're hoping. Yeah, Five of Pentacles here. I feel like there's going to be a, a leaving out in the cold energy. All right, tell me about this Page of Cups. So your reading's a little complicated for this, like, kind of small space of current energy readings here, you know, but... I'm going to pull some advice cards for you guys. And this may be on the other side. I mean, you may still be in this positive energy here, and maybe this is the other person's energy. But either way, we do have an outcome card of the devil card. So that's not necessarily, you know, the best here. Yeah, the wheel of fortune. Turn the wheel. Knight of wands. Ace of pentacles. Two of cups. There we go. Boom. Okay. Yeah, there's a new energy and a new opportunity coming for you, Libra, is what I see. I feel there's a definite ending with someone, and there's big, heavy ties. Big, heavy ties with this situation. Now, maybe this is that person coming around again. It's possible for some of you, but this has a different tone and a different flavor from what I'm seeing. And this isn't usually your Six of Cups devil card person. This looks like a newer energy coming in, but wow is it ever so that's weird because yeah the page of cups wasn't really matching with the ten of swords and the emperor and all of that but the world card was here so i mean world card and ten of swords are a definite ending you know though that's like a complete ending but this page of cups comes up so it's probably a new situation so as one situation ends i feel like another door opens is is really what i'm seeing here and fairly quickly quite frankly i feel it's 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 pretty quick coming in yeah, definitely quick. All right, yeah, the magician here as well. Uh, could be a Gemini, possibly, or Capricorn. Could be a Capricorn as well. But yeah, this looks good. I mean, in that, I mean, this part doesn't. This looks hard, you know, this ending and all of that. But then there's this like lighter energy to take things away is, is really what I see. So I would say do your best to stay in this healing, powerful energy, self-care, all of those types of things. Don't let certain news or certain things put you into that um what if you know anxiety stage and and just let things roll through here so yeah that's the advice i don't really need to pull separate cards because i see that you're going to be fine you know here so the advice is to navigate this as far as yeah there is some major ending with you guys and it may not be a relationship it could be something else you know a ten of swords emperor can mean a lot of different things i mean it, it, you know could, could be any area of your life but there is a, an energy here of a clear ending ten of swords world card but then this like lighter energy that's coming in and it's not this like devil card the heavy energy this is something new light fun and a strong connection and remember at the very beginning when i was shuffling and i i saw that too i saw like um something new that could really lead to a lot of happiness so all right uh, let's move to aquarius please if you guys like this reading please thumbs up all those good things all right uh let's see we are on aquarius please doing the air signs first Okay, what do you have going on for Aquarius? Aquarius, your uh, current energy reading is out. That's just for you guys. I put that out like a couple days ago. So check that out if you haven't seen it already. Ooh, all right. So new things coming in, Aquarius. Looks like some messages. Uh, Ace of Cups typically means new energy coming, coming your way. I think you did have kind of a theme like that in that reading too, if I remember correctly. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but I, I feel like that was uh, alluded to in that reading that I did for Aquarius. Uh, okay, so what's going on for Aquarius, please? Current energy, love. Current energy, love, Aquarius. So recent past, there could have been a disappointment um, with this Page of Cups scenario. So Page of Cups is just sort of like testing the water with something or, you know, something light, for flirty. Um, maybe you found out, you know, maybe somebody that you were interested in, you found out there, you know, there's a third party, you know, you don't want to be a third party or something like that. That could be 
um, or just you found out like that person's married or you know something like that but let's see let's get a little bit more Aquarius please current energy okay oh yeah they have the world card yeah something that you possibly were testing the water with with the page of cups it's it's like the world card is here so it's there, there may have been an ending or something for you recently or something along those lines but the world card is is like a, a clear ending but the beginning of a new cycle as well yeah the lover's card right all right there you go so you have gemini energy here or options just showing up you know with the lover's card the four of swords okay well, there's one more message here too. We'll get into that. Four of wands. So two fours. So you have 44, which uh, is fours are typically about our stability. And you have the Empress. Beautiful. All right. So a lot of stability cards here. So let's see here. What's going on? Ten of cups. All right. All right. Good. All right. So I would say with the world card going into the lovers, now there's two different things that I do see here too. If you guys are waiting, because the four swords can oftentimes also be like waiting for things to happen. I don't know. I, I feel like there's there's something good coming in for you as far as stability, all right? As far as like home, some of you may be uh, purchasing home or moving homes or putting like more... Um, uh, investment into your home all right especially with the ten of pentacles here as well that seems highly favored but waiting for like choices or in love or waiting on a gemini in particular or waiting for someone to like choose you you know those types of things do not seem to be in your favor here or as far as or not in, in necessarily like in your favor but just like not a good idea like I feel like the cards are pointing you towards stability, stability, stability here with Four of Wands, Empress, Ten of Pentacles. So, um, yeah, some of you may have like been disappointed. You found out about like a third party thing or something along those lines. Or some of you are waiting and waiting like on a Gemini. Um, again, probably not, you know, it's not that it won't ever happen or anything, but it may not be like the best energy to be in right now. I'm going to pull the advice cards for you. Um, others of you, let's see, you know, this could just be saying, you know, that maybe, you know, there's a little flirtation here in the recent past or something like that. It just didn't work out. You know, the world card means like, nah, you know, nothing, nothing going on there. Uh, so maybe, you know, source is pointing you with the lover's card towards like new options. But the four of swords is about resting, taking a break from all of this, you know, not really like thinking about all of this or trying to, um, manifest or force or you know things like that instead it's like there's a focus here heavy focus on stability self-care uh things of that nature all right let's see what the advice is and then we'll see if there's any other things that come out like about love all right what is the advice for uh aquarius please yeah so wow i just cut the deck at the star which is your card and the karma card which is the judgment card so but in this deck it's called the karma card so it's it's I feel like the advice is for to, you know, the star card is your card, Aquarius, but it's also a card of like healing, self-care, uh, coming into balance with things, all that good stuff. And the karma card is about like the actions that we take show the way to like our karma, right? So like when we, t when we make good decisions and we make good discernments, then we end up with good positive karma. When we go against our instincts, when we go against... Uh, our intuition and when we go against source and things like that and we get into the negativity that you know the pit the pit of negativity you know then it's unfortunately you know what typically follows in is you know more negative type karma so the judgment card is about making a final judgment call and a discernment in your benefit with the star card all right for towards your healing and all of those good things all right so what is the advice please for aquarius Okay, so you have the King of Swords. You cut things out that just really are not serving you. The Ten of Wands. 
and the Ten of Cups. Yeah, I feel like the advice is to yeah, and the Devil card at the bottom of the deck and free yourself from the Devil energy is you know or the Shadow side it's called in this deck and the Fool card here. So it's like needing to free yourself. I see strength sticking out here and yeah, Six of Cups. Some of you may be dealing with like a past on off or nostalgic connection or something like you know again that's just not like really coming into play. So I feel like this is saying to the advice is to cut things out that you keep like that are burdens to you they keep dragging things on and on and on and they keep you from reaching the castle you know which is this like four of wands they keep you from reaching the the safety and security that you desire and instead do the things that make you feel happy here you know and the the some simple things in life that that you feel happy with you know good friends you know can be family um you know things like that so it's like don't carry burdens that you don't need to start cutting those away uh and also for some of you if it's a relationship thing especially with the devil card and six of cups showing up here pretty close together this is like to free yourself from um some of you need to free yourself possibly from a leo doesn't necessarily mean that for sure or a libra but there's, yeah, things are going to be balanced once you, like, free yourself from the shadow side of a situation here with this world card and three of swords. And start looking towards um, more balance in your life, I feel. Yeah, that's, that's the message. You know, the simple things make you happy, Aquarius. So I don't think this is, like, a, a huge... Like, this heartbreak's already happened, so I don't feel like this is, like, saying this is going to happen, you know, like, in the future. This feels like it's already happened, because the world card is here. That's, like, that's the... Because a lot of times we can see, like, a, like, a breakup energy or something like that, but, hell, you know, next week, back together or something like that. But the world card is, like, a finalize-type card. So I feel like that's already behind you. So, you know, you either have options or again if you're waiting like if there's been a clear e ending and you keep still waiting for this like choice to be made that's taking away from your self-care and your stability i feel so cut out those things and only lean towards things that make you happy and and put the devil behind you and take that leap of faith towards you know more innocent side of life you know six of cups there may have been something that you really like to do or there may be a fire sign coming in soon Actually, I don't think it's leaving a fire sign. It could be going towards, I think I said leaving a Leo, but I don't, I don't think that's the case. I think it would be moving towards a Leo or a Libra. All right, that's what I see here. Like there's going to be a good friendship there and like a kinship that, that will, you'll connect with. Okay. Uh, let's see. All right, so that was Aquarius. So let's see, that was air signs. So let's do um, fire signs. Was that both Leo cards bound together? Oh, no. I thought that was the sun. It looked like the sun. I was like, oh, my God. Strength and the sun. Hello, Leo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was cute. All right. Uh, oh, actually, and we are on Leo. That's funny. Okay. Leos, please. What do we have for Leo? Leos, please. What's going on for Leos? Current energy, romantic love. What's going on for the Leos? Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is the message? What is the overall energy for Leos at this time? What is the overall energy for Leos? Nine of Wands. All right. So getting a little tired of things, possibly tired of waiting for a new love or tired of... Um, yeah, I don't think you're tired of love. I think you guys are waiting and waiting and waiting and like kind of feeling like giving up the fight in a way but look ace of cups is here so let's see if that comes out because that's intriguing all right <clears throat> so nothing exciting in the in the like overall energy right now nine of wands is kind of a card of keeping your distance possibly with someone or or keeping someone at bay it's also a card of waiting you know just like kind of waiting and waiting and feeling a little bit of mm, giving upness <laughs> all right so let's see let's see what's coming in though as far as predictions all right leo please thank you all right so there you are strength card all right awesome isn't this a cool strength card too because it's like the leo is like or the uh, lion is just so pronounced it's just awesome oh my god two leo cards oh leo all right so recent past you have strength and six of wands so possibly resisting someone coming towards you that's just like mm, 
kind of cocky or um, it could even be another Leo possibly for some of you or Sagittarius I'm getting but I, I don't know I kind of feel like you guys have just you you you're kind of pushing somebody away here or trying to keep somebody away um, not sure of their true intentions I'm getting so and it's like you have all these roses here it's like you're all about loyalty you know is what I see and I feel like you just don't trust this person in the recent past energy is what's showing that that's coming towards you so there your your defenses are up I feel let's see what the current energy is all right so you have the three of wands all right so somebody's checking you out they could be at a distance though possibly yeah the wheel of fortune so I do feel like there is this energy in the air though I don't know if this is two different people or different situations but there is someone that does appear to be checking you out uh, they do want to turn the wheel with things they are interested and we'll check in more into that in a moment okay yeah you have the five of cups again I feel like there's this like kind of drainy energy that's going on with you right now where you're just sort of like uh you know it's it's not like depression you know um I mean for some of you it may be and you know so that sucks I, I get it um but what I'm getting here is not necessarily like heavy 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 oppressive depression I'm getting more just sort of like blah like ugh oh my god I got to go to work today or you know or uh, you know some some cute guy smiles at you at the grocery store and and you kind of like roll your eyes like yeah right you know you probably have a girlfriend you know like I just I don't know I kind of feel like you're just sort of in this this uh mindset right now that that you're not really entertaining much is is, is what I'm getting okay yeah seven of swords mm, definitely trust issues and it's like you know it that's the thing somebody I feel like there's somebody here that you possibly keep dealing with and I, I do get a new energy though here we're gonna check that out in a minute but it's like oh here they come again you know and each time they come in it's like it just depresses you a little bit more you know because there there were feelings there once or or you know there's it's almost like I feel like you there's a lot of drinks spilled here. Some of you may even go into like a drinking uh, um, binge or something like that when this person comes around because it's it's like they just know how to get to you, you know, in a way. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty rough energy. All right, but you have the Ace of Wands. Yeah, see, I feel like something new. I feel like you have two situations. So it's like something kind of crappy and then something kind of new. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Yeah. Page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, definitely new messages coming in. Okay. All right. So t tell me about this uh, Three of Wands, Wheel of Fortune, please. Tell me about the Three of Wands and Wheel of Fortune. Because I think right now, like, if this is somebody checking you out, they're checking you out. <clears throat> if it's not that, then it, it's just an indication to that it is, it's time to start turning the wheel in a more positive direction and stop, some, like, um, not submitting your because I, I don't know any Leos who submit themselves to things, you know, but, but kind of, you know, it's like unbeknownst to you, you may be doing that, you know, see, the thing is, you're, you're a freaking lion, right? You're like strong. Think of what is a lion? The lion is the freaking king of the jungle. What is the sun card in tarot? It is the sun. It literally is responsible for making everything happy and growing everything, right? So it's a lot of power. The lion is a power symbol. The sun, it's a power symbol. And it's like, this is, is what I'm seeing here is that somebody whittles away at your power, at your light. And it's like, do not, you know, I don't think you would willingly, you know, submit to that, of course, you know, but there's a part of you that subconsciously possibly is, you know, and it's like, you're not a submitter, Leo. All right. So, uh, uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, no, do not sub submit to these things. You, you are not like a pacified, uh, you know, um, Mm -mm. that's not your nature so don't 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 let somebody just keep coming back and playing these games with you and causing you to go into victim mode you know uh-uh that's that's bullshit so yeah the emperor and the hermit yeah so you know and those were falling out in the recent past so some of you possibly dealing with a virgo or an aries that just kind of did a number on you I feel um yeah left you out in the cold or or just they abandon you like every time or you know they just don't really fit the bill here all right so tell me about this three of wands and wheel of fortune please for Leo 
Okay, the star card. Beautiful. Oh my God. Look, Ten of Swords and Ace of Pentacles. Oh my gosh. So yeah, you guys, I feel like the Ten of Swords is like to change this pattern. It's like, it's time to end this. Let it go. Be done. Done and doneer. <laughs> Wasn't that a movie? Done and done -er? <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Um, and the star card, you know, it's like, it is time to, look, and look how kick-ass she is, you know, or he, you know, whatever sign you are, or I mean, whatever gender you are, you know, it's like, but seriously, that's pretty kick-ass. It's like, yeah, s screw you guys, I'm going home. That's what you need to say to this situation. It's like, ten of swords, be done with this and say, I am the mother effing star. You know, I am the lion, I am the sun, you know, I do not let I do not cower or put myself in victim ass energy because this seven of swords sneaky ass comes along you know mm -mm. no more of that you know and I, I just I don't know I feel like this is a message you guys really need to hear because normally you guys know me I'm a pretty much you know yeah I'm a Scorpio but I'm kind of Libra-esque you know I, I'm never like really extreme about things and I, I usually try to play both sides fairly and all that kind of stuff and I don't always call this the seven of swords a sneaky son of a bitch or anything like that you know but yeah I'm not liking this one here and it's like because of what they're doing the effect they're having on you and that sly ass grin on their face I'm just not liking it for you and it's like it is time to look to new things all right new things transformation transformation so wow yeah and ace of pentacles at the bottom of the deck seriously ace of wands is the outcome of your reading that's the outcome card and ace of pentacles at the bottom of the deck right <laughs> okay or or leo you can continue staying there you know in in that that energy of like blah you know or just always feeling like you have to be on the defense or always you know not knowing when this person's gonna do this to you again where you're like you know she's obviously like sad depressed you know possibly been drinking you know whatever you know it's it you know whichever one looks better to you right but i'm thinking the ace of wands and ace of pentacles looks pretty damn good Okay, uh, let's see. Let's move on to, that was, uh, we're doing fire signs. So that was Leo. We are on, um, oh God, I missed Aries. Oh, psh, duh. <laughs> okay, Aries, you're in the center. All right. All right. Aries. How do I do that? That's so funny. Um, okay. Aries, please. What is the message for Aries? Current energy. Current energy, Aries, love. Aries, you might be doing some dating soon or more socializing that's going to lift your spirits a lot. Don't just think about it. Go for it. Get out there. Don't let things hold you back. Get out there. Do things. You don't have to burn the candle at both ends or anything like that, but like don't don't uh, don't shun like sociability and things like that. All right. So overall energy for Aries at this time, please. Okay, so you have the Page of Cups. All right, so something coming in. Could be this King of Wands. Some kind of message. You may be texting them. They're texting you. Something like that. All right, uh, that's the overall energy. So let's get the storyline here and the predictive energy for you. So what's upcoming for Aries, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, so we have the High Priestess, Recent Past. All right, so... And the Devil. Wow, that's a lot of heavy energy showing... So really needing to listen to your intuition and not be overtaken by the shadow side of things. So shadow side meaning like worry, fear, um, you know, that type of energy. You know, instead stand in your power with this high priestess energy of your of your intuition. Ooh, six of cups and devil in the same reading. Eh, eh, Aries, I don't know. All right, not my favorite combo. Usually that indicates to me you're dealing with somebody who's very off and on and it's it's it never really graduates page or night status because it's very off and on but you guys really are comfortable with each other and and you like each other a lot yeah five of pentacles so feeling left out in the cold with a situation um you may have even like reached out and not got a reply or vice versa could have been the other way around maybe you did not reply to them yeah, the Hermit is really wanting you to see this. That each time it feels like it's abandonment or being left out in the cold. 
each time you reach out or each time they reach out or, you know, whatever, you know, the kind of situation here. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles is a lot of just like waiting for something to change or waiting for something to happen. Oh my gosh, Aries, what is up? All right, then you got the Queen of freaking Wands. All right, and options at the bottom of the deck, which is exactly what I was saying as I was shuffling the cards. So if you didn't hear that part, uh, rewind and watch as I was shuffling because, you know, I was seeing some things there that really suggest that, it's like, yeah, don't let this energy take up your your time and your energy and waiting and waiting and waiting. No, be the queen of wands, which is the natural fire sign, um, fire energy, you know, of Aries. So it's like getting out there and listening to your intuition, not denying things. Um, and don't let a situation with like an ex or a past person or someone that you're very nostalgic about or very highly connected with, with the devil card here, or could literally be a Capricorn. There could, could be a Capricorn too. Um, you have Capricorn, Virgo, and Pisces in your reading, but it's like, regardless of the signs, this is a, a need to like really kind of, and the, the cool thing is, it's a predictive part of the reading. So it is predicting you will do this. All right, Queen of Wands, you're gonna be yourself again. All right, but there is definitely something to look at here. The Hermit wants you to see like how many times has this like past person or this past energy or this nostalgic connection or on off connection, um, past life person most likely, um, left you feeling like out in the cold or taken up so much of your emotion that you even abandon like certain duties or, or care for yourself or things like that because you, you know, you, they put you in such an emotional position that maybe you didn't concentrate on your work very well, or maybe you didn't, you know, go after a certain job that you wanted to go after because that would have taken away time from this person or, you know, whatever decisions we make in our crazy lives, you know? So it's like the hermit's really wanting you to see that like, it's always like a, you know, there's a, there's a, missing of someone here so yeah a lot of just shadowy things here but it will pass that's what i see um things will improve and it's just a matter of like kind of getting more creative also getting more passionate with things and you just look kind of kick-ass here whether you're male or female it's like i, I feel like you just kind of like this, have this all-knowing energy here of options Many of you too, it is time to like really just, just reinvent yourself is, is really what I'm getting here. I, th I feel like many of you need to just reinvent yourself. Um, <laughs> you know, maybe like new colors, you know, to wear new, uh, you know, like literally, like I'm not, you know, in inwardly, of course, I'm always a fan of inwardly, you know, changing and reinventing yourself, but outwardly too, I, you know, and I don't say that too often, but I'm getting that. Like there, there's something here like fairly radical that I feel like you guys are wanting to do, you know, appearance wise, like really change things up is, is something that, that seems to stick out here for you. Yeah. Look at different perspectives of things. Yeah, look at that. So you got Ace of Pentacles here. Something good is coming your way. It's it's a matter though of you. Oh yeah, you guys got love coming in soon. Look at that, the Tower and Two of Cups. Not too far, not too far at all. So if you're doing the healing work and all of those types of things, Four of Swords, Card of Meditation, healing, things like that, uh, recognizing you know what is not good and what disappointed you in the past and doing that shadow work and all those good things. And it's like, you have this new opportunity that could come out of the blue here for like a real good connection. So it's like, I don't know, I feel, I feel like it's just a message of saying, hey, it's time to look at things from different perspectives. Um, you know, if this person didn't answer you or you didn't answer them or whatever, you know, if this thing keeps continuing, just do your best to, to kind of separate yourself from that energy and start kind of reinventing yourself as far, like from the inside outward. All right. That's what I'm seeing for you guys. Okay. Uh, let's see. So that was Aries and we already did Leo. I went out of order. So we are on Sagittarius. Okay. Sagittarius, please. What do we have for, oh, wow. And I cut the deck right at your card, Sagittarius. So you have Temperance and Four of Swords, but an Ace of Pentacles here. So some of you are um, just kind of in a leeway right now, but there's like something coming with that Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, you may not be seeing this, but look, yeah, something's on its way towards you, Sagittarius. Um, so it may seem like not much is going on now, but it does look like things could pick up within the next month or so. And that makes sense. You know, the closer that people get to their birthday, um, a lot of things start like changing. It's, it's kind of a slow, subtle change, but you know, it's, 
it's like all the good type energy and momentum start coming around to you as you get closer to your birthday. So let's see here. What do we have for Sagittarius? Sagittarius, please. What is the overall energy for Sagittarius at this time? Okay, Queen of Swords. All right, so possibly having some discussions, really frank, really honest with someone, or you're asking someone for like the truth or communication. Um, Queen of Swords can also be cutting things out of your life. So let's see, let's get the rest of the cards and see what else and how this plays out for you with the Queen of Swords main energy. Sagittarius, please. Thank you. Okay, so you have the Empress and the Four of Wands in the recent past. Okay. You have the Two of Wands and the Devil in the current energy. Okay. You have the Nine of Wands, the King of Wands, and the Sun. Beautiful. All right, I'm digging the Sun. Some of you possibly could be dealing with a Leo. Uh, we also have Capricorn and Taurus here. Sagittarius maybe as well, or any fire sign. But anyway, aside from signs. So your overall energy. I feel like you're just, you're not, you're not just taking like light things right now. Like you're like, okay, if there's a conversation, bring me a conversation. But you know, it's like, because I feel like you have a past person that you may be with the two of wands, like they either are deciding whether or not to communicate with you or vice versa. So I feel like there's like this energy, here. like communication seems like at the forefront, but like not at the forefront, if that makes sense. It's weird. I don't know how to explain that exactly. Um, I feel like in the recent past, like this male energy here, it's, it's like they, there was like a time, you know, where they saw, you know, like this empress with this four of wands, you know, things were going to work out. Maybe you guys were going to move in together, things like that. They may be going back on their word right now. Or, you know, like if, you, if there's been talk about that or like alluding to, hey, we're going to move in together. We're going to do this together or that together. They, there, there may be an energy here of um, a shadow side comes out here and then puts them back in that holding pattern again. So where they stop talking about that or they stop making choices and decisions towards that. So I feel like you're on the defense here in the near future um, with the nine of wands, but this king of wands holds, holds a wand here too. So take his and take yours. That makes 10 of wands together. So this is like an ongoing thing that like just doesn't seem to end is what I'm seeing. Now you do have the sun card. I do like that. Uh, so I do think something is going to be, become more clear. And we're going to clarify the sun card right now because it's, I don't know. I just feel like someone's before things were looking good and then now it's like oh you know there's like excuses or there's this or there's like this wavering or deciding of whether or not this or whether or not that because you feel like if it, it feels like to me you're in a holding pattern like a waiting pattern and you know we don't want to give our power to someone else to decide for our life you know so you want to be careful of that um, yeah, plus you have a seven of swords here too, which is a little sneaky. Yeah, so I would watch out for like third parties and things like that too, since we do have an empress and a queen in this reading um, and this male energy here. So uh, king of wands. So yeah, there could be like other people involved in this scenario, especially with the two of wands. Like they're needing to make a choice, you know. Um, so let's see. Let, let me see what that sun card is. What is the sun card? Clarify the sun card, please, for Sagittarius. The Ace of Swords. Yeah, the truth is coming. So that you're going to get like the truth and the clarity that you are seeking is what I see here in the near future. I don't know if it'll necessarily be like in the next couple days or anything like that. This seems like this may drag on a little bit, quite frankly, with Nine of Wands and all of that. But I do these readings pretty much once a week, you know, every, every four days to 10 days, you know, it depends, you know, I, sometimes I throw out two a week, sometimes I throw out one, one a week, but it's like, I do see that you are going to be receiving the truth and clarity that you have been waiting for. Absolutely. You've been waiting for this with the four of swords. So, and, and for a long time, I feel you've been waiting a long time. I feel it'll be good. The sun card is typically, you know, considered like, oh yeah, look, and the two of cups. Um, the Two of Cups is, or I'm sorry, the Sun card is, is uh, considered a very good fortuitous card. And in clarifying that all, I got the Two of Cups here too. So I do feel like there's a really strong connection here. Uh, Ace of Swords, 
for some of you, this could be cutting out a situation. Like, again, like, don't, you know, if you're waiting for your happiness to depend on some, you know, he looks so, like, creepy too this king of wands right it's like i don't know if you're waiting on that to defend you know to define your happiness well then maybe you know the energy here is to cut cut that out you've been waiting too long and it's this devil energy you should never have to wait on someone to decide right like whether or not they're into you or not that that's just i that one all, always boggles my mind I'm, I'm so so fortunate that like my my mom just like raised me with all this like super great wisdom and and you know in, in a way because you know sometimes it's not so great to have all that because then you're a little bit too pragmatic with love but it's like and I'm not tooting my own horn here or anything it's just that I just don't don't ever understand why why um, you know someone would like wait to see if somebody's going to choose them or not that that just no you know <laughs> no you know I mean I wouldn't want that to be the scenario for me I wouldn't want to do that to someone else you know so it's like either you like each other or you don't and when two people like each other and want to be with each other what happens they figure it out and like immediately they don't waste time they don't say oh well this and oh well that and oh you know make 50 million excuses no I mean, you wouldn't, right? If you really wanted to be with this person, would you say, well, uh, you know, I got to take care. Oh, well, it's not that easy. I got to get this divorce and I got to do this and I got to do that. And then the, the kids, no, you'd say, oh my God, yes, let's go, <laughs> right? And you'd figure it out. You'd be filing, filing those papers Monday morning if you really were into this person. So that's why I'm saying don't, you know, don't waste too much time with people. And especially if it's third party or trust issues and things like that ask for the clarity you're gonna receive the clarity that's what I see if you ask for it you ask for it truthfully honestly and ask for the truth you're gonna get the truth here and I think it's gonna be very healing and very happy for you is what I see okay all right so let's see that was Sagittarius uh, so we've done air we've done fire let's do water okay so that means cancers all right, Cancers, let's see what's going on for you. What is the overall energy, please, for Cancer? Okay, Cancers, overall energy. What is the overall energy for Cancers, please? Oh, okay. So you have five of wands in the world. All right, so again, the hanged man. So there could have been some arguments here or some sort of, um, yeah, I'm getting arguments, you know, trying to, trying to show somebody a different perspective, but maybe they're not like hearing you or vice versa. So there could, could be some clashing, some arguments, things of that nature. Um, maybe just different views on the world in general too. I'm getting that if it's not like a breakup or an argument to a breakup. Um, all right, so let's see. Let's see what your cards say, though, in the spread and see what comes out. So um, definitely differences of opinion and somebody, somebody getting, like, angry is, is the energy that I see. Okay, so Cancers, please. What is the current energy romantic love reading, please? Thank you. And four of Wands, Four of Swords, okay. Oof. Maybe some of you are, was that Sagittarius that had this recently? I don't know. Somebody else had this kind of combination sort of thing. You know, it might not have been. I, I can't remember what sign that was, but you'll see it if you cross watch. Oh, Cancers. Well, hello. Oh, yeah. Possible new Sagittarius coming in or new love coming in in Sagittarius season for you guys. Lover's card, Temperance. Beautiful. So Temperance is like a soulmate energy to me in tarot when I'm doing love readings uh, generally. So there's another situation clearly that is not working well, Cancers. I don't know. There's like arguments, hot headedness. That's over, you know, with that situation with the world. Um, or, sh you know, will be is, is what I see. There's definitely still some thinking about it. 
there's like this delicate, like tiptoeing around something. Maybe you guys still live together and, but you're like on the way out, you know, of, of each other's lives, or there could be something here about like a home or even a, an event that you two were supposed to attend. I don't know, something like that. I don't know. I just kind of get this. There's this energy here of like waiting for something and tiptoeing around something to be resolved here. Um, could be again, arguments and things like that. But I see a clear ending with the world card and we have the five of pentacles, two of wands. So this male energy here could be feeling like left out or feeling like abandoned in a way. Um, you know, needing, knowing they need to make a choice, you know, of, of what they want to see in their world. But when they look out there, they just see like this, like abandoned kind of, uh, what's the word? Barren, you know, barren type cold energy so it's like they don't know what to choose because when they look out all they see is is like coldness so you may be dealing with a, a male energy they don't have to be a male but a male energy who it, they have a hard time seeing things blossom th seeing things bloom they may be in like vin victim mentality mindset so it's hard for them to imagine things could be better or you know that there could be that they could be looking just as easily onto a beautiful lush green field with all kinds of you know beautiful flowers and birds and rainbows and things like that but instead when they look out and they feel like they have to see what's ahead in their world they see like bleakness so it's very difficult dealing with that type of energy all right so i do feel like that is something that is ending for you okay because then very clearly you go from this to this all right which is nine of pentacles single all right this is being single nine of pentacles but there's this beautiful ace of cups i mean i just that that's it's the only reason i bought this deck was because of this ace of cups it's just gorgeous I, I just think it's such a pretty ace of cups and it takes the whole card you know so it's not just a little you know little teeny tiny ace of cups it's you know it, it's a it's a good offer here coming in so for some of you this could be an indication that it's coming more in um sagittarius season all right which would be uh like november-ish basically um others of you it literally could be a sagittarius or again temperance can mean soulmate you know temperance is like an angel that's like trying to blend the two of cups you know the these perfect emotions things like that things in into you know this is the scene that this one should have been seeing you know instead of this bleak cold you know dying flower you know kind of thing it's like they should be looking onto this right it's all green there's beautiful you know flowers and lush rainbows and greenery and things like that so it's like i feel like you're moving away from that energy and you're moving towards this like ace of cups um that is going to be a good soulmate blend for you and you have the lover's card at the bottom of the deck just kind of basically indicating that you have a choice you know basically that's that's what i see yeah knight of uh, oh wow yeah, this is so clear so some of you yeah there's a shadowy either fire sign or aries it's hard to tell i'm not sure um but it's the devil card here too that needs to end here is is what i'm seeing so it's like this male energy you know it's like the king of wands is very activated but then the shadow side comes out you know the fear the the um the darkness the connection with somebody else they can't let go of, you know things like that and it's like so then then they don't want to deal with that and they become the emperor and they shut down but then they become the knight of wands again you know and things like that that stuff needs to end that's what i feel it's like that's going to end so i do feel like there's there's someone that you've been dealing with on and off for a long time and they go in they go in and out of like a knight of wands a king of wands a knight of wands a king of wands and then they shut down they become an emperor you know, like no emotion, no emotion, or like a King of Swords type, right? And then back again, back through the whole gamut again. So I feel like you are leaving that energy and you're moving towards choices now of something new. That's what I see for you, Cancer. So really nice reading for you. Ace, look at that Ace of Cups, just beautiful. And that's showing in the near future position of your reading. So very nice. Uh, okay, let's see, Cancers, uh, Scorpio, Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, what's up? Scorpio, messages coming in, looks like. Page of Wands and Eight of Wands. So somebody wanted to say, hey. Hi. 
All right. So what's up with Scorpio? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, current energy. What is Scorpio's current energy, please? What is Scorpio's current energy? So you have the Two of Wands. All right. So possibly needing to make a choice, a decision about a situation, really narrowing down what, what you see in your world. This could also be the person on your mind. Like maybe that's what they are going through. Uh, Typically, uh, Scorpio and Sagittarius seem to um, lately run the same on this channel, and they had an energy like that as well. Yeah, Three of Wands. Okay, Three of Wands showing in the recent past. A lot of worry about a situation. A lot of kind of pining type energy I'm seeing in the recent past. Let's see what's going on in the current energy. All right. All right. Putting, setting yourself free from that, though. All right. So setting yourself free free from like waiting on someone, especially if they were at a distance or something like that, or like yearning for this person or something along those lines. I feel like you, you're like, screw that. I'm not, I'm not like a, you know, like a piner, you know, I'm a Scorpio, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna free myself from this situation. So I don't know, some of you, I don't even feel like this was a super strong situation. Maybe for some of you, I, I don't know yet. We'll get some, some more cards. This could also be too, like if you were waiting on someone to make a choice on if they were going to come towards you or not, you you may have gotten, gotten caught up in that for a little while. Well, or maybe a long while, it could be nine months or so, but you're, you're setting yourself free from that energy. So you're not, you're not doing that anymore. Okay, oh, Seven of Swords in your near future. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Scorpio. King of Wands, oof. Yeah. Uh, Scorpio, this is a reading to me to look at some things from some different perspectives here. Because, yeah, two of pentacles. There's a lot of stalled, oh my god, four swords. Seriously, five of pentacles. A lot of stalled energy here. So, it's like something will be coming in. I do see that. You know, knight of swords, ace of pentacles. But it looks like that's a little ways off. And it doesn't have to be. That's the thing. So, it's time to make a decision, Scorpio, is what this reading is about. About, like, um... Are you going to wait around on somebody to like make you the priority? Um, or especially with the Seven of Swords, because I, I, I feel like you can't really trust this energy of this person. And it's like, they're not being straight or clear about what they really like intend or want or, you know, what have you. So it's like, it's just kind of like waiting. And it's like this waiting game. I feel like this is saying, screw that. You know, it's like free yourself from this energy. It's like, stop waiting on like maybes and and you know yearning for maybes and things like that it's like just clear yourself of that energy and get a fresh new start here because it's like i feel like this person will just keep keep that ball rolling as long as they can as far as waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting i mean it's the hanged man which, which is a stalled card um, and then next was the Two of Pentacles, which is like waiting, you know, still trying to make a choice. Two of Wands, Two of Pentacles, you know, waiting, waiting, waiting. By the way, Three of Wands, waiting card. Four of Swords, waiting. And Five of Pentacles, you know, ultimately not getting the fulfillment that you need out of this. You know, the Five of Pentacles is not a positive card. So, you know, Scorpio, there's... Um, and you know, you know, Scorpios, you have a high, high, high intuition and you know what's worth it and what isn't. And this is one of those readings I feel that's calling on you to really set yourself free from waiting on someone else because that is, it's just, I just gave the speech and I, do, I forget what sign it was, but I think it was Sagittarius. So if you are watching both of those, just refer to that Sagittarius reading because I, I, I spoke about this stuff, you know, my feelings on this, um, you know, and it's just an opinion, but I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty emotionally intelligent with, with stuff like this. And so I highly suggest watching that Sagittarius reading, even if you're not a Sagittarius, it, it'll explain all of that. I don't feel like going into it now because I just went through it. But it's like, but the thing is, it's, I mean, you would know it anyway, because intuitively, you know this stuff, Scorpio. So it's like, don't waste your time on this. Free yourself from this. If someone's not making you a priority or someone, you just feel like they, it's like, well, what do they want? Seven of Swords. It's like, that's lurky. You know, it's spy. -y. It's, um you know, you know, trying to keep you on the hook, you know, things like that. It's like, no, that's obviously Scorpio. That's not going to be a, a, a relationship you're going to desire in the long run. Right. 
I mean, most Scorpios, not all of us, you know, but most of us, it's like, you know, we can, we can stay in this for a little while because we're like bored or because we don't have anything else going on. But when you really think about it, I mean, like, what do you really want? You know, you want a, someone that you can trust. You want somebody who's, um, you know, typically, well, same thing everybody wants really loyal, um, you know, all those good things. And it's like, this is, this person is just like, they're not being upfront with you. They're keeping you waiting. They're keeping you like pining. They're, you know, waiting, waiting, waiting. You know, there's just waiting everywhere. So no, <laughs> that's what I say to that. Uh -uh. All right. So let's see what the advice is for you, Scorpio. All right. What is the advice? Yeah. See, Oh my God, so clear. Queen of Cups, Six of Pentacles, and the Devil card. So it's like Six of Pentacles can oftentimes be like a bookmarking card, you know, to me. It's like, I, you know, at, at first I heard that from uh, Secret Tarot and she calls it uh, breadcrumbing. And I thought that's brilliant, you know? And so it's like, it's kind of the same thing, you know, cause I, I, would, I would mention it as like, like a bookmark. You know, like when people like, they just want to bookmark you for there, you know, like, like this King of Wands, they don't want to like, totally let you go but so they'll just give just enough to keep you in their energy and keep you waiting and things like that and it's like mm -mm, that's no no scorpio <laughs> that is not you all right um so what is the advice scorpio's advice please <laughs> well that's that's just a clear right there yeah super clear i would say be on the like uh defense or whatever with a situation it's like the advice the first card that came out the wheel of fortune turn this wheel you know turn this you know m f n wheel and it's like take a swing and a miss <laughs> you know if you have to you're gonna you're gonna hit a home run eventually it's like just you know hit that wheel get it unstuck get it get it rolling and take care to keep things at arm's length that need to be kept at arm's length you know it's like i do feel like you are needing to be a little bit more on the defense at this you know or defensive mode at this time in order to like turn your turn the wheel here to get it unstuck okay uh all right so let's see scorpio so we are on pisces Okay, Pisces, let's see what we have for you. Pisces, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. What is the message for Pisces? I was just told to change decks, so I'm going to do that. All right. Pisces, please. What is the message for Pisces? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, please. What is their energy? What is the overall energy for Pisces in romantic love? Overall energy, three of wands. All right, so being optimistic, um waiting for things to happen waiting for messages possibly with the birds trying to keep above your emotions and stay positive okay so let's see what do we have pisces what's coming in for pisces current energy romantic love thank you all right so with three of pentacles recent past with the death card i saw the death card earlier when i was shuffling as well so some of you dealing with a scorpio or like a come back around or should i come back around or you know that kind of energy possibly going on uh let's see let's see what's going on here you have the prince of wands okay so like nine of wands energy and the hangman coming out of reverse all right so something is getting unstuck it looks like in the current energy there's some movement forward here so let's take a look and see what's going on in the near future. All right, you got the Ace of Wands. All right, so things perking up. New ideas, new adventure, Phoenix rising from the ashes basically here. So that's nice. And the Two of Wands. Okay, so a lot of though like needing to make these choices is what I see. So I'm not sure this is necessarily happening. Okay, so you have this King of Cups that's doing this sort of balancing act. Now this could be you, Pisces, possibly. It doesn't have to be because uh, it's the King of Cups. I mean, it could be who you are dealing with. Um, ew, yeah, I'd say be a little cautious. 
with that one. Okay, the Empress. Yeah, so I feel like you do have somebody that's very interested in you and they're they're kind of like hoping that you are interested in them too. It, yeah, definitely. All right, so I'm not, this Seven of Swords, I don't feel like it's a bad Seven of Swords, like trust issues Seven of Swords. I think this is good. You have Temperance, Two of Cups, and the High Priestess. So Sagittarius energy here, possibly another Pisces as well. Um, Taurus is showing, uh, and Scorpio. So it doesn't have to be any of those signs, but what I get is that there's something in the works here for you that intuitively and like angelically is being like set up for you, like as a match. So I feel like love is coming. That's what I see. So like, if you've been a positive, you've been optimistic, uh, you've been uh, really trying to keep your head above water in a sense, you know, not getting too um, affected by things and you're like ready for transformation and you're taking actions to look at things from different perspectives and come out of the energy of being stuck because this is, you know, the hanged man, you know, in reverse. So, you know, you're starting to take movement towards things. Yeah, in the recent past, you may have like just peeled away a bunch of layers here, you know, and... Um, some of you, you know, kind of gave up on socializing a little bit in order to do some shadow work here or just to reinvent yourself in certain ways, like really peel open the layers to see what was inside of you. So I feel like some of you have been doing that in the recent past and now that's paying off. You're starting to feel more motivated. You don't want to be stuck anymore. You want to get going with something and you want to make a decision here and like rise from the ashes and be reborn. So I see a lot of reborn energy in your reading. Now it could be a metaphor for a relationship that's possible because we do have this king of cups here um but for many of you i think this is new love coming in is more of, along the lines of what i'm seeing uh i don't mind the seven of swords in this because i feel like it's not that they're being tricky or deceitful or anything like that i feel like they're being very clever about how they approach you and they're hoping that's why the fingers are crossed here that it's like that they're going to say the right things and do the right things and be your type and that kind of deal. So I think this is going to be a decent like situation. This looks like it could be a really good match for you. And you've got this beacon up here too, that it's like you're, you're, you're attracting this in. So really interesting. I think this is a good reading that has a lot of potential is what I see. Um, for some of you, it sure, it could be a comeback around. Maybe somebody's had a change of, of mind, you know, here or something along those lines. Uh, especially if you're dealing with a distance relationship, there's distance here, you know, three of wands, two of wands, that could be as well. But I feel like somebody's really hoping that, like, that you'll find them interesting and that you'll find them um, attractive and, and all of that. And I feel like you will, you know, I think this is going to be a really good match for you coming in. All right. If it's your person and you're healing things, I mean, I just don't see that there was a bunch of toxicity or anything here. So if you're in like a really, really like, uh, you know, kind of situation, I'm not sure if this is the reading for you. Um, I, I, it just, it feels new to me, like new love or possibly if it is a comeback around, it's, there's been a lot of time between you two. That's what I'm getting from it. Like a lot, not just like, six months or something like I'm talking, you know, like, a, like three years, a few years, you know, something like that, like way back. Okay. Uh, all right, Pisces. Now we are on, uh, let's see, earth signs. So let's go with, um, Taurus. All right, Taurus, current energy, Taurus, please. What's the current energy for Taurus? Taurus, current energy, Taurus. Nine of Cups, Six of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, Taurus, what are you doing? This is amazing. I love this current energy for you. So a lot of independence, um, appreciation for like yourself. You may even be getting like others appreciating you a lot more than usual right now. Something that you're like really wanting coming through um, a lot. Oh my God, the Empress at the bottom of the deck. Wow, this is fantastic, Taurus. So, I mean, that's your card. But yeah, you guys are manifesting right now. You've got that beacon out there. You you want this, whatever this is of your dreams. I feel like, you know, with the six of wands, you're getting a lot of little things to put in your nest here. You know, this bird has a lot of different objects that they're putting in their little little nest, nest egg area here. Lots of messages, people like wanting to contact you possibly. Um, 
nine of pentacles business is good or or finances are good or you're just really like doing a lot of self-care and confidence work all right really nice okay wow so what's coming in for um for us please Oh, you did so much for past past work. Um, clarity, meditating, getting clear on things. Really nice energy here. Okay. Yeah, you're ready to move forward now. I feel like you guys kind of disappeared off the scene for a little bit in order to get clarity. Uh, took a break possibly from like dating, online dating, socializing, things like that. But now th things seem to be moving forward. You may meet a cancer because the chariot card is a sign of cancer. You may meet a cancer through friends or um, through like short trips or travel. Wow, the tower. Wow. Strength. Okay, Leo is showing up here too. So they could be a cancer Leo cusper. Don't, doesn't have to be, but yeah, eight of cups. Okay, so you're walking away from something that you are realizing, oh my God, all these shadow cells just falling away from yourself. I don't know what this tower is, but something has like changed and, and taken away like the anxiety and stress of things. And it's like, it's almost like this big realization that it's like, you know what? I am enough and I need to like maintain my confidence. I need to maintain who I am in this world inwardly and outwardly. And like both are just fl flourishing like beautifully. That's what I see. So I think there's been some kind of news or something that's happened here that you kind of had to be strong about. Uh, it, it's difficult. Like, it, you know, there's like this energy that emotionally just it was not working for you and and it it just isn't you know so it's like you're moving towards like better luck is what i see i feel like you guys are moving towards good luck as you leave behind a situation that has been emotionally draining that's what i see and as long as you're like doing the work i feel like you're really going to be moving into a new series of luck whether you are male or female that's the message i'm getting here with nine of cups showing up six of wands wow um so yeah i i'd say yeah there's a lot of of positive energy here for sure watch your stress levels things like that don't let those fear thoughts creep in and take away from this energy because you have such amazing um, powerful energy right now of, of cleansing and yeah look the hermit oh my god like tons of spiritual energy yeah see like you know you know that somebody's gonna come in you know prince of cups you're you're not I, I feel like you're not too worried about that right now honestly i think like it's all about yeah, queen of wands you are um definitely just more invested in you i think in this current energy and there's gonna be some stuff come up i do feel but it's like you can handle it now because you're in this like really positive energy and i don't even think it's going to be like that bad um male energies i would say there's definitely something to to emotionally detach from and start moving like taking the steps forward towards things that are going to change your luck in a positive way not holding on to things that just keep keep you keep draining you but for females my gosh i feel you know and if you're male too but mostly i will say mainly female energy i would say here is showing up very strong in your power doing a lot of the right healing and self-work and coming to the right truths and things like that being strong about any kind of towers that you may hear about or or experience or things like that and ultimately you know keep doing that work you know on the path each step you take is a little bit higher and yeah you have the hermit here which is a female in this deck knight of cups and queen of wands you're going to be attracting things and you know that that's the thing because you've done this deep dive and you've you've lit your lamp here of wisdom it's like now you're going to be in the attracting mode not the chasing mode you're going to be in the attracting mode lots of like attractive attraction cards here for you very nice reading quite frankly um i i would not doubt if there's like not a soulmate energy that's going to be in your energy soon in, as you're in this this vibe here okay uh, let's see. So that was a uh, Taurus. We are on Virgo. Okay. Virgo, please. Romantic energy. What's going on for the Virgos? Virgo, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Mm-mm. 
Mm. Wow. Okay. I've seen a lot of worry cards and anxiety cards, Virgo. All right, but these just came out. Let's see. Seven of Swords, Chariot, Nine of Cups. All right, so somebody could be coming along that you're you're all about, um, or you're trying to find out information about someone with the with those cards, or someone's trying to find out information about you. All right, so overall energy energy is Ace of Pentacles. Okay, and then you have um, Princess of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So overall energy, I feel like, yeah, there's like a gathering of information or something like that. It's like someone's going to make you an offer or you're looking into somebody or, you know, something like that. Okay, so let's see what the um, the actual spread says. Oh, all right. So we got, your cards are like just wanting to talk. So let's let them do that. If I can pick it up, there we go. Yeah, I kept seeing that Five of Cups earlier. So this is recent past. Uh, five of Cups, you know, I don't know, possibly a little bit too much overindulgence, drinking here, or just too much emotions, crying. Um, not that, or not too much. I mean, maybe that was necessary. Maybe that was needed for a situation. There's a lot of like sadness uh, going on in the recent past. Feeling invisible in a situation. Um, not seeing the love as easily in a situation also. So yeah, this could be like a major, maybe there's a marriage or a Taurus or just break up energy, something along those lines, or just not feeling fulfilled, you know, in a situation with the Hierophant here in the recent past. Okay, so let's see, coming into the um, current energy, we have the moon, so Pisces energy and the Ace of Wands, or uh, nice. So if it's, I mean, it could be a Pisces, but even, oh yeah, you got the Magician. I feel like new energy coming in for you, but the moon is, um, if it's a Pisces, it's just Pisces, but regardless of the sign, it's it's sort of like you don't see this but there's like this there's a rekindling of something or like a, you're about to like be reborn into a different energy that is going to be fiery and interesting and all of that because you have the ace of wands which is pictured here as like the phoenix rising from the ashes so it's like but the moon card is unclear you know so you, I, I feel like you're not seeing this necessarily or like you don't know that that's going to happen, but it's going to happen. It almost has a tower card feeling to me where it's sort of out of the blue. But the thing is, the reason it's not a tower card, I feel, is because it's not unexpected in the sense that intuitively you feel this energy already. You know, tower card is more like when we're not expecting it at all. You know, and intuitively, I feel like you guys know, like something's going to stable out here. Something's going to be, you know, there's going to be an offer made or something's going to be coming my way, you know, something like that. Um, yeah, you got the four of wands here. All right. In the near future and 10 of swords. Ooh, all right. So some of you may be, um, ending a marriage, quite frankly, with the Hierophant and the four of wands or like a, or a situation where you thought it was going to go towards that. You thought it was going to be marriage. You thought it was going to be living together or something along those lines. And now you have these options, seven of cups. Okay. So... Now, some of you, this could have been a third party situation too that, that you may be ending because, or thinking about ending because you, you realize, hey, I need options. I need something solid, not just like empty promises or yeah, maybe down the roads and things like that. So if it's third party with the moon here, then yeah, I feel like you will be hearing from this person, but ultimately it's, it, I feel like Source is saying it's time to start considering what your options are though in this scenario. All right, so if it's third party, it's that. Others of you, I feel like you're highly considering like leaving a situation where either like you live with a person or are, are married with a person or something along those lines. You're just exhausted with like trying to make something work. So it's like with this Ace of Pentacles here, I feel like you, you're coming up with new plans and new ideas uh, for yourself. And I feel like for some of you, it's like intuitively, you know this already, but it's like, you don't kind of know where this feeling is coming from. That's what I'm getting. Like, you don't know why or where, you know, all of a sudden, like you feel this way, but there's like all these like new things that you want to um, conquer and do and think about and, and try out and things like that. Um, yeah, I feel like you guys are getting more emotionally invested into things than ever before. So like some of you are, were very pragmatic or didn't really let your emotions like run rampant or anything like that, which is a good thing, <laughs> you know, nothing wrong with that. But it's like now I feel like they are, but in a good way, like you're, you're getting more emotionally uh, invested in, in things. And you're seeing that like, hey, well, now that I'm noticing that I have this like 
these emotions for this and for that and the you know the all these different things it's like this traditional tried and true isn't really working for me anymore so that's that's what i'm seeing there i mean you know you do have the magician wow yeah the magician and the lovers three of cups i feel like a lot of for many of you this is like third party type energy here or you're going to, going to possibly be leaving a situation or a marriage or something along those lines in order to um, make different choices for yourself to date to be out you know socializing things like that some of you have a gemini coming in as well all right uh let's see so that was uh virgo so we are last but not least we are on capricorn all right capricorn let's see what we got for you capricorn love 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 capricorns please so what is the like overall energy overall energy current energy love energy for capricorn please Capricorn, overall energy for Capricorn. So, oh, the Wheel of Fortune, and it really, 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 really bounced out there, there didn't it? Wow, yeah, so um, Princess of Discs and Strength card at the bottom of the deck. So, most likely receiving messages very soon. Could be a Leo with Strength card, doesn't have to be. But yeah, so your overall energy is the Wheel of Fortune. So something's getting ready to change. Something's ready to get unstuck here. So let's take a look and see what we have. All right, so show me um, Capricorn's reading, please. Recent past going all the way through the energy into near future predictive energy. Okay, Ten of Pentacles is your prediction energy. I felt that card should be the last card. So let's see what's going on. So that's a good card. Um, you got a lot of cards, so we're going to kind of freeform this and see what's up. So Ace of Swords, it came out. Um, so for many of you in the recent past energy, that would have been the card, you know, positioning. I would have put this in. I feel like there's, you've almost got the truth about something or the clarity about something. It's like you've got enough that you want to turn the wheel now. So it's like, it may not be 100% clarity on something or the 100% that you have the truth or what have you, but it's like, you're satisfied, I feel, with what you have obtained. Yeah, many of you are leaving something, you've cut something out. There may be, yeah, a little bit uh, weird on the closure issues of something, but it's like, you're ignoring that. It's like, you're just moving forward anyway. Yeah, you're moving higher to a higher um, situation here. I'm seeing that. Okay, so what's going on? So yeah, the world. Yeah, so you guys are ending a cycle. You've got your clarity. You've got enough that you need. That's that's what I see. Like there's enough clarity in the recent past to give you the courage to walk away from something for good and to, you know, call it a day or call it 10 years or call it 20 years or whatever it's been it's like you know there's um definitely an energy here of moving forward okay uh let's see so you have the eight of pentacles and a page of cups showing up temperance here as well yeah i feel like things are going to really change for you possibly around november like there could be like a real um big change and like by the time it's november things may just look really different for you is what i'm getting all right with this wheel of fortune and temperance you also have the king of wands wow king of swords and nine of cups yeah so there's there's definitely like love interests showing up here fire sign air sign possibly could even be another sagittarius oh another sagittarius that's funny i thought i was on sagittarius i'm on capricorn uh there could be a um yeah sagittarius uh leo aries or an air sign coming in but nine of cups you're all about it you know that's that's the dreamy stuff you know that it, i'm sorry i don't know if that's even on screen what i'm showing you king of wands king of swords nine of cups so it's like you're going to have some good options here i feel um one that's very fiery and passionate and one that's just sort of i like this king of swords in this deck king of swords is not typically my favorite card in tarot um just the way it's drawn and depicted but this one's cool he's got like these kind of cool boots on and and the way he sits it's it's not like he's all uptight like the king of swords wielding that sword and like ready to you know tear your head off you know he's just kind of chill and and um i don't know i like i like the energy here so i feel like you have somebody who's a little bit like pushing it you know like they're a little too smooth you know kind of thing like that and then you've got this like super chill dude you know and, and i feel like you're going to be all about that you know for sure so this looks really good i'd say 
Um, things are going to be improving. I would say too, financially, this could be good. There could be some kind of offer coming in that's just the right mix to bring you to the 10 of pentacles because you have eight of pentacles to 10 of pentacles here and something being, you know, somebody adds this ingredient or reaches out or something like that that adds like that missing ingredient to bring you the 10 of pentacles. Could be a partnership coming as well, like a business partnership for some of you. That could even be what's, what's showing up here. But it's a very good reading, Capricorn. I'd say, you know, I don't know if all this is happening in 10 seconds or anything like that. Uh, it is a current energy reading, but this feels like it's like unfolding. Like this is what's starting to unfold on the wheel. You know, when the wheel of fortune shows up, it's not typically that it just like, you know, turns and then everything's great. You know, it, it's, it's like a, a process, you know, but it's starting to move on the upward swing, you know? So for like from here on out, like everything is going to seem like it's going up, 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 you know, for you uh, after, since you've had this cycle here that has closed. So I feel like there's heavy improvement coming in for you uh, financially, for sure, and in love, too. I feel like you're going to have options and, like, the right option is going to be clear for you at that point, okay? So that's what I got for you guys. Very nice reading, Capricorn. You go. Uh, and uh, thank you so much. I will see you guys soon and check out all the other vids and all that good stuff. All right. Bye, guys.